MMTs are gathered here on a Monday morning. It's 11-15 of 2010. It's an options expiration week. There's going to be volatility gaps in pre-market. We have a gap up at the current moment. Um, we will have gap downs as well this week. And the thing about it is during this five-day period, as every 20-day period, there's a 20-day period that's 20 trading days. Five of them can be very brutal with volatility and headline events that come out. The SMF MMT has an SMF market maker platform that deciphers that at price action. Rather, that's taking a price action failure short, meaning that when price fails, you're short, or if it goes down two deltas or 10 teenies or 20 teenies or whatever in your platform, but price is made, is that we're going to see a lot of that happening in both directional movements, in both directional price action movements. It is now 6.10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.10 a.m. Eastern Time. The gap sequence with the futures market is, do they sell into that gap? That's one thing we're looking at. The other part that we're looking at, part two, is the buy to cover. So when the bears went home short on Friday, they went home short, and you've got a pre-market gap right now. That means that those prices are above their short entry prices. And part two is to see where that fear can come into play. And they move this market by the cover stop market on the opening bell. Period. Now, retail people, hey, you can go ahead and do what you want. That's how it works here. Regardless. And we'll prove it that way every time. What the MMTs will be doing in their opening combat opening in price action is that buy to cover is a stop market. Buy to cover if you're stopped. We're going to look to see on the opening bell if we get a 36912 on that. A double whammy would be where the buyer is chasing performance. That's the key elements that we're looking for. It will show up in the brain. It will show up in the ratios. It will show up the way that it should. And basically, last week selling up toward the top of an overbought market is very common. However, what we're looking for, it is an options expiration. There were a lot of call options that were inflated all week that came back down in more of a deflated price range. And we did that in our Saturday weekend training. And we have alert levels. We have price action alert levels ready to go. This is going to be the most manipulative five-day period out of a 20-day period for every new SMF MMT. And there is a pattern to it. There is a gimmick to it. There is all kinds of things that go into an options expiration. So we're going to see if the public is convinced on the opening bell. And we're going to see if the short sellers are going to buy to cover and get squeezed. We're going to see if the asset manager and fund managers are trying to buy the dip up toward the highs here. We're still overbought irrespectively. Irre because we are. Equities are overbought. There's no shakeout on equities right now. One thing that the bear is having a problem with is, is that when you look in the S&P 500... And the short sellers are looking for, you know, bad stories to sell short is, is that based on the earnings fund, there isn't a lot of deterioration there yet. So the thing about it is the general consensus on the street is to buy the dip. The S&P 500 has a very, 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 um, a very, very, uh, Narrow trading range, 1230 is the top end of the S&P. And a failure 
to break above that 1230 going between now and end of year or whenever is that's where that would trigger a lot more money off the sidelines naturally so because you're taking out a major major psychological area above that 1230 you start running above and that's how the retail sector gets you know triggered into the market and that's how people get triggered into markets so that's what we're looking for on the opening bell and we're looking for the characteristics and price action patterns that we've seen in the last five-day period. It's very simple. If they start to change, that's very good. Options expiration is a very profitable time of the 20-day period, of the 20-day trading range. You can actually, if you do it correctly, you can make more money in this five days than some people make all year. And during a five-day period could be one of your biggest MMT paycheck periods of this five-day options expiration period. Meaning that your wealth grows considerably in the five-day price action movement. And that is what we're looking for. Pre-market is over. Let's have a good day. We know what we're looking for. And we'll do the right thing. We'll let the SMF platform be our guide. And not only that, we'll let the ratios guide us. We'll let the reversals tell the story. We'll let the volume tell the truth. We will dissect and referee the public and trade against whatever way we have to do.